The Westmont Warriors taking the home field as the Warriors host Willow Glen. Top of the first Rams with a runner on, but we go Robbie Zanardelli to Evan Phillips to Austin Tremelling. That's a double play. Bottom one for the Warriors, and it's Hunter Skilperard at the plate with the runner at second. Let the big dog hunt. Hunter with the line single up the middle. Heading for the plate is Ethan Go, and he is safe with the slide 1-0 Warriors. Bottom two now, a runner on for the number nine hitter, Robbie Zanardelli. And Robbie muscles up and sends this one deep to left center. It drops for a double. Robbie also had a triple in the game. Ryan Poirier scores 2-0 Westmont. Still in the second, Ethan Go with a shot to third, but the Rams, Sal Munoz with a nice catch to end the inning. Meantime, Skilperard was awesome on the mound, getting one of his three Ks here to finish the Rams in the third. Home half of the third, two on, two out, and Poirier pops this one to shallow right, and this is all kinds of trouble. The ball drops fair, trotting home is Skilperort, racing around third, and scoring is Tremelling, and Westmont is up 4 nothing. Still in the third, Cameron Rottler sends a screamer up the middle. That scores Poirier, and it's 5-2 to two Westmont after three. Bottom five now as Troy Rottler sends a rocket all the way to the fence. Rottler racing in a third. It is a sliding triple. And then two batters later, Cameron Rottler drives in his brother, slicing a line shot to right. Troy scores, and Westmont goes on to win it. 7-0, the final 12 hits for the Warriors. Skilperart goes six full to get the win.